Kiaori Eho, Haere Mai. I need you to help me sort out a big problem. <laughs> I've got three books here. They're all by the same author and the same illustrator. And I'm wondering which one we should read today. Should we read The Goodbye Cheer? The Chill Out Cheer? Or The Savour Cheer? They all look really good, don't they? Well, the goodbye chair is the first in the series. So maybe we should read this one first. What do you think? And save the others for later? Okay, let's do it. Are you nice and comfy? Ready for a story? Well, let's begin. This is the goodbye chair. It's written by Josephine Carson Barr and illustrated by her son, Simon. And remember, this is Nicholas. It's a Nicholas story. <laughs> Here we go. Nicholas was very excited. Nanny was taking him back to preschool today. He had been on holiday for two weeks and was missing all his friends. He ran round and round the lounge, making himself giddy. <laughs> he liked feeling giddy. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Do you like feeling giddy too? Me too. The holidays had been great fun. Movies, swimming, walks in the bush, and visiting Nanny's deaf friends, who use sign language to talk to each other. Nicholas had enjoyed trying some of the signs himself. Nanny was sad to be flying home and leaving him. Nicholas loved Nanny and didn't like her feeling sad. So after lots of thinking, he had an idea. Nicholas stopped running and said, Nanny, you can give me a kiss if you like. Nanny was surprised as Nicholas did not give kisses away very often. Really? she asked. Yes, replied Nicholas. You can give it to me when we get to the goodbye chair. Well, what is a goodbye chair, Nicholas? It's a special chair by the window where we sit and wave goodbye to our mum and dad. Hmm, I think Nicholas might be using his imagination, don't you? That looks like fun. Nanny said one kiss would be great, but two kisses would be better. One kiss for each cheek. I'll think about it, said Nicholas, screwing up his face and pretending to think very hard. Then in a serious sounding voice he said, Hmm, I've changed my mind. You can have three kisses. Nicholas's sister Kate was playing knuckle bones on the lounge floor. She asked, How old are you, Nicholas? I'm four years old, Nicholas answered proudly. Then why don't you let Nanny have four kisses, said Kate. You know how much she really loves kisses. Okay, said Nicholas. Kate started singing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. She sounded like the chimes on the grandmother clock at Nanny's house. Nanny called. Time to go in the car, Nicholas. Do you have everything you need for preschool? Nicholas found his backpack and looked inside. Yep, he said, as he slung it over his shoulder and skipped to the front door. He called to Hannah and Kate. Hurry up! It's time to go! I don't want to be late! All my friends will be waiting for me! Everyone climbed into the car and Nanny drove off into the city traffic. He is in a hurry, isn't he? Mm. 
Nicholas piped up from the back seat. Nanny, do you know I will be five on my next birthday? So what about five kisses? He was having fun. Wow, that is a fantastic idea, said Nanny. Five kisses it is. At the red light, Nanny stopped and held up her hand to give Nicholas a high five in the mirror. Hannah could see that this was turning into a counting game. So she said, I like the sound of six kisses. Hannah counted on her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Trying to make Nicholas laugh, Hannah planted a very loud kiss on his cheek. Yuck! <laughs> Nicholas yelled and wiped furiously at his cheek. Hannah laughed and then kissed the air loudly five more times. Everyone laughed and laughed, except maybe Nicholas. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Yuck! When the laughter stopped, there was silence for a while. Then Nicholas announced firmly, Nanny, you can have seven kisses and that is all. No more. I will not change my mind again. At last they pulled up outside the preschool and Nanny and Nicholas went inside. Nicholas showed her the goodbye chair in the corner by the window. Nicholas explained, I sit on the goodbye chair and you go outside and you blow kisses through the window. Nanny looked sad. I thought I was giving you seven kisses on your cheeks. <laughs> Nicholas laughed. He had tricked Nanny. Kissing is not allowed inside. You must blow them through the window, he said in a very bossy voice. <laughs> Poor Nanny. Nanny sighed. As he settled himself on the chair, she dropped a kiss on the top of his helmet. He pretended not to notice. He smiled to himself as he thought about his two secrets. Nanny was going to be really surprised. Nanny stopped outside the window and blew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kisses at Nicholas. He was ready with his first surprise. He blew back three kisses and counted waru, iwa, to go. Nanny was surprised and smiled. She didn't know that Nicholas could count in Māori. She gave him a big clap. Nicholas climbed down from the chair, pressed his nose against the window and said, I love you, Nanny. That would have been a lovely surprise, wouldn't it? Well, now for the second surprise, Nicholas stood on the chair and using the signs that Nanny's deaf friends had taught him, signed, I love you. Nanny was very impressed. Good one, Nicholas, she smiled, giving him the thumbs up. I love you too. Can you see the signs here? I love you. Well, Nicholas was very pleased with himself. He had surprised Nanny and now she would not be sad anymore. He climbed down from the goodbye chair and went off to play with his friends. The end. And on the final pages of the book, you have the colours in English and Māori, the numbers in English and Māori, and you have information about the author, the illustrator, and some of the other books that they've created together. Did you enjoy that story? Well, if you'd like to find out more about this book, The Goodbye Chair, and the other books that Joe and Simon have created, 
you can visit veritasaotearoa.co.nz. Hey, do you remember the signs that Nicholas used in the story? Let's see if I can find them. Here we go. I love you. Will you try them with me? Let's do them together. You point to yourself. I love. Put your hands over your heart. And then you point to you. <laughs> for joining me today. Will you come back again soon? I hope so. Can't keep there. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs>